you're gonna have to excuse me. I just built out my nails over a built out kind of, you may have seen it already. I did the marble look and then I actually did a Halloween look after that is where I actually built out the nails, but I wanted another fall look before the season is over. So I took that down so I could do this look. So I'm coming in with two layers and this color is absolutely beautiful. I had this on my nails by itself for quite some time. It's called Passion. And it's such a pretty orangey red, but like it's almost just like a deep orange, not even really a red. I'm gonna take some of this like burnt coppery color and put it on the nails. So I'm just using, I'm just using the, uh, I guess, tacky from the polish. I didn't put anything specific down. I've been obsessed with coppery. I have a more tutorial. I don't know what's going on. Is that going to be Okay. I am actually just, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this so I don't leave it essentially just tacky. Like my normal nails, I can do that, but with these long guys, I'm just not, not quite there, okay? Taking Nail Addict Sunfall. This is such a pretty color. These two go so well together, I think. taking foil again because I'm going to match the thumb with the foil obviously not the color after and I am going to go on actually I lied I'm gonna go on the middle finger If you know me, talk dirt to me is my color. take this orange carving gel. Obviously it's a lot brighter than what I have. I like to apply a little bit of Young Nails Protein Bond to where I plan on putting this because it's going to help it stick. And then I'm going to flatten it and kind of just like 
shift it over. So it's kind of like an oval. Okay, it would take something that is rounded so you don't have to, you know, reinvent the wheel. So I'm holding it pretty flat and I'm going to push in. Okay. And now I'm going to do the other side. Going to add a little leaf and I'm just going to pull it just slightly that way so it has a little bit of a point. I'm going to use the same color because I do not have a brown paint. Let's see if I can do the sorrel. Okay, didn't actually expect it to work. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Next we are going to apply the nude cat eye. I have used this in many videos. I also have like the technique I'm doing in a full tutorial as well. I can link that above, but I'm going to take this, give a generous amount, but not too much, but generous. So, you know, how many oxymorons can I put in one sentence? So put that on and then we're gonna come in with our magnet and we are going to go vertical to create that 3D look when you move the nail. So pretty. Then we are going to marble. I am actually using gel for this, so I'm not using uh, paints or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Or inks, this is gel, so I can cure it and kind of keep the look I'm going for. Because these are so long, I wanted to have control over the marble look here, and I do do some layering. And then unfortunately the end cuts off. So I just have a picture at the end. I'm so sorry, but I do finish the design. I just missed the top coat. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.